James Madison's United States Bill of Rights is a foundational document encapsulating the essence of individual liberties and the limits of governmental power. Penned in the late 18th century, its significance endures as a hallmark of democratic principles. Madison's work reflects a philosophical commitment to safeguarding fundamental rights, illuminating the values upon which a free society stands. In its preamble, the Bill of Rights asserts its purpose, to prevent misconstruction or abuse of government power, emphasizing the imperative to protect citizens' freedoms. The Ten Amendments that follow substantiate this objective by delineating specific rights and liberties. The First Amendment stands as a cornerstone, guaranteeing freedom of religion, speech, press, assembly, and petition. These liberties serve as the bedrock of democracy, fostering an environment where diverse beliefs can flourish without fear of repression. Madison's deliberate inclusion of these freedoms underscores their indispensability in nurturing a vibrant, pluralistic society. The Second Amendment's contentious interpretation revolves around the right to bear arms, sparking ongoing debates regarding its scope and implications. While originally intended for the maintenance of a well-regulated militia, this amendment continues to generate fervent discourse in modern contexts, balancing individual rights with public safety concerns. Protection against unreasonable searches and seizures, articulated in the Fourth Amendment, reinforces the sanctity of privacy in personal space. Its prohibition against arbitrary intrusions by authorities serves as a bulwark against unchecked governmental power, affirming citizens' right to be secure in their possessions and effects. Madison's enumeration of due process rights in the Fifth Amendment underscores procedural fairness and shields individuals from self-incrimination. This amendment not only encapsulates the principle of innocence until proven guilty but also underscores the requirement for just treatment in legal proceedings. The Sixth Amendment reinforces the right to a speedy and public trial by an impartial jury, ensuring access to legal counsel and confronting witnesses, a shield against potential abuses of authority within the judicial system. Meanwhile, the Seventh Amendment reaffirms the importance of civil jury trials, emphasizing the preservation of citizens' rights to resolve disputes in a fair and transparent manner. The Eighth Amendment's prohibition against excessive bail and cruel and unusual punishment highlights the ethical imperative to maintain humane treatment, setting a moral standard in the criminal justice system. Its emphasis on proportionality in punishment underscores a commitment to dignity and fairness. The Ninth Amendment reinforces that the enumeration of certain rights in the Constitution shall not be construed to deny or disparage others retained by the people. This provision acts as a safeguard, acknowledging the vast array of rights that individuals inherently possess beyond those explicitly stated. The Tenth Amendment, addressing the balance of power between federal and state governments, underscores the principle of federalism. It reserves to the states or the people those powers not explicitly delegated to the federal government, preserving a system of checks and balances. Madison's crafting of the Bill of Rights represents a seminal moment in the protection of individual freedoms. Its enduring relevance lies in its ability to articulate timeless principles while remaining adaptable to the evolving needs and challenges of society. By delineating explicit protections and limitations on government, it stands as a testament to the enduring quest for a just and free society.